good evening and uh, good morning to all the doctors present so today we are again here with our next class on the organon i have got one question which i will be discussing afterwards because i think this information once we do these four or five aphorisms i think this question will be self answered in these aphorisms so as last time we have talked discussed till aphorism 15 so i had a i had a talk this week uh, after the class with one of the doctors and uh, she was telling me about you know that the concept of this thing you know i many of you are already i think all of you are already doing homeopathy from past many years but still i got uh, because uh, this concept of dynamics this is the base of homeopathy this is one of the principles of the homeopathy because until and unless we know this the concept of dynamics it will be unable for us to understand that how the things are actually actually working right now we are just making guesses guesses can be right guesses can be wrong but once we understand this concept so i have got some examples today we'll talk it uh, about it because this is very important to know and i will also tell you a way how you can start understanding this thing more and unlearning the old concept of matter so we'll start with it so last time also i said this thing that uh, i i really understand this thing because initially it happens to everyone uh, we can either you know go through go through it quickly or slowly or uh, it will be difficult to go through it that shifting the idea from shifting from one idea to the another and that idea which we have been you know believing our whole life and not only we our families our the people surrounding us all are basically believing in that idea and suddenly we came to know that it has been a wrong idea so it becomes difficult to you know transfer yourself from one but we can do it slowly we can, slowly slowly we can go through it so last time we did it uh, till aphorism 15 where the concept of dynamics was given by dr henneman so let's start to understand first this what what exactly is dynamics although i explained it last time but today i will go through some examples so what what exactly is dynamics dynamics is something that does not have material quality to it the matter there are uh, the matter the understanding of matter basically comes from the newtonian physics which we call as the mechanical physics okay. so that basically gives us the matter the concept of matter the newton's law they give us the concept of matter so but dynamics is a completely different thing i will not say opposite i will not say opposite because every matter also has dynamics in it that also i will uh, explain in the end of this thing even the matter any matter this mobile phone i'll just give you a small example and why i am giving this example because this has happened almost with everybody all of us have mobiles and laptops or some appliances in the kitchen some gadgets in the kitchen Now, most of the time it happens is that you know uh, there is a 
an idea comes into the mind that okay i have this mobile from past 5 6 years okay it is becoming slow it is be- lagging the it is not getting updated or the battery is going out very quickly so maybe I, you know i should change it we are just thinking about it we are not we, we haven't yet decided that i am going to change with it but we are thinking about it okay maybe i have to do something about it and suddenly and if if it, if it becomes strong if it is a strong enough idea within a week you will see either the mobile will break or you will lo- lost uh, it will be lost or you will drop it somewhere or it will completely you know kind of shut down or some screen will be bro- something will always happen to it it always happens so even something which has material it is a matter the mobile is a matter even that matter has a dynamics behind it which is getting affected by your idea or your thought process i'm just giving a this example just to give an insight because this mostly happens with all of us at some point of the life at some stage and you and you realize or you reconnect also very quickly that i was already thinking about changing the mobile or phone and uh, this thing happened to it so there has to be some force which is acting on it so the dynamics it does not have any matter to it it does not have any material quality but we can only speak about it it can be spoken of in the form of action we can only see what kind of action it is producing so from here to my mobile something has been transferred something is transferred okay then the character is of immanent immanent means being present as a natural part and permanent and everywhere and this dynamics is immanent its character is immanent it is present as a natural part it is present as a part of nature part of the universe and is permanent and is everywhere it is present everywhere i will just go through some examples in the next slides so we have these two figures one is a larger one one is a smaller one so we have uh, studied a law in the mechanical physics that when in mechanical physics a have a higher potential and b have a lower potential then the potential will flow from a to b for example we keep a very big beaker or uh, this uh, some cylinder of water and there is some small cylinder of water there is uh, sorry there is a, an equal beaker but very less water here it is filled and here it is less so if you connect it with some pipe the water will start flowing from the higher potential to the lower potential and we have already uh, studied it it is an, an very beginning when we start studying the newtonian science so from a to b it will start flowing when the potential flows and whenever it it will flow in the mechanical physics it will be potential from a sorry uh, the potential from the a will decrease and the potential in b will increase so when the water will flow to the other part from this bigger cylinder the water will start decreasing and in the second part the water will be start increasing this is the law of matter so whenever there is a an amount of matter if you take something out of it the original will become less and the other portion will become more because matter has a quantity to it for example i have 1 kg 1 kg 1 kg of something if i give 500 grams to some one i will be left with 500 grams if i have i have 1000 uh, dollars if i give 500 dollars to someone i will be left with 500 dollars so matter has quantity number number to it so whenever the quantity is decreased the from where it is decreased it will be lessened so whenever the potential flows from a to b the potential in the a will decrease and in the b it will increase and it will be until they become equal potential until they become equal 
it will not stop flowing. Okay, so the bigger one will become less, the lesser one will become bigger. So this is mechanical physics, but this thing does not happen in the quantum physics, the another branch of physics. The quantum physics basically deals with the vibrations and frequencies. Okay, so what happens in quantum physics? The the rule is completely different. Quantum physics deals with things which are not matter. So you will see a big difference in the law where it is matter and where it is not at all matter. So what happens in quantum physics? A quantum which is vibrating at a higher potential, for example, this blue one, it is vibrating at a higher potential and all the three around it are basically vibrating at lower potentials. So when this higher vibrating potential quantum, it starts affecting and increasing the vibrational potential of all the quantums around it. So it will start in increasing. The flow will start from the higher potential to the lower potential. Here also it goes from the higher to lower, but in a different manner. So what is that difference is without losing its potential, it will also not lose its potential, but all the other quantums, they will also start increasing in the potential. So that is the difference between dynamis and matter. Matter is something which is quantitative which you can measure, which you can see, which you can, um, you know, uh, weigh or which you can, uh, this, like a piece of land, you can uh, see the area of it. But the dynamics is completely different thing. It is a completely different thing. I will give you now an example, some few examples about it. Very commonly, when we see in the house, we, we have a basket of very good apples or a basket of very good bananas or very good grapes. If you just put one diseased or very, you know, something which is deteriorating uh, an apple or a banana or a grape in that pack, the whole pack will start deteriorating very quickly. Very quickly. It gives its potential to all those things, quantums which are present there. Another example, if there is some death in somebody's house, some funeral or something like that, now the family is going through that grief. The family has lost someone and they're going through the grief. But when you go there, even if you have, you know, the past day, you have got some increase in the salary, or you have just uh, celebrated your birthday or celebrated some marriage anniversary, or you have are coming from some kind of vacation and you're full of energy. You are very happy, you have been excited, and suddenly you had to go there in the funeral. After you go there, you start losing or you start gaining onto that grief, you know. Even you will start feeling sadness. According to our disposition, according to the susceptibility of the quanta, quant, which we are quantum, According to the susceptibility, we will start taking that grief. Some will feel sad. Some may also feel like weeping. And some may feel the equal sadness as the family is feeling. Now the family haven't talked to you about anything. They haven't expressed anything. They are just sitting silently or they are just weeping among themselves. But it is transferred to you transferred without any material contact. Similarly, you go uh, to someone or to, you go to some place which have a healthy potential. Even that potential will start feeling you. It will be starting transfer. For example, you must have feel many times, you know, that you, you have just met someone, you have talked to them, not talked much, but talked to them. And after going, uh, when we go away, when we go back to our place, you feel energetic that, yeah, it was a you know good thing. It was a good thing that I met this person. It was a good thing that he had a good aura about it. He was a good person. I cannot explain what was good in it, but he had something which rubbed against me. Similarly, going to some temple, going to some holy place, going to some mountains or be 
you know, we feel the same way. But there is no physical contact. There is no uh, that someone has given something to us or we have given something to someone. There was no exchange of matter. But still we felt that way. So this is dynamics. This is how we get affected without ever getting any material connection. So the material connection is in Newtonian physics. Now, like I gave you the example of that grief, you know, that of a funeral. Now, all the people around are affected, but it is not that by getting affected, that all are getting affected, the grief of the family will decrease. No, it will be same. Like this. Okay. Like this. If, if these all the quants were feeling grief, it is not that the uh, grief of this center uh, quantum or that family will decrease. It will be the same. But grief in everyone around them will also increase. You see, a, one more example which you will commonly see. Children, you know, if you see a smile, a smiling child, if you see a child who is smiling, you know, a, automatically smile will come to your face. Even without thinking anything. Now, when a child is smiling and you smile, it is not that you are taking his smile and, you know, this is not matter. His smile has affected in a way that the energy inside you, the potential inside you, the dynamics inside you, it has changed to that happiness, even for a smaller time. If you if you are just aware of this thing, th this happens to all of us. When you see someone smiling, someone laughing, you know, suddenly our uh, this face, it gets lit up. So this, this is what is communicable. Many times in the, uh, in the organ and also when we go further, we will uh, go through the words infection. So now in our mind, the infection is material one. No, this is also infection. The infection of the dynamis. You are getting infected in the same way as the person was. Grief infected grief, smile, infected smile, health, infected health. That is why I always say that it is very important for a physician to be healthy himself so that he can infect the patients with health. It is very important. So, but does not, uh, do not take it as a very pressuring thing. Okay, healthy in the sense that you, the way you deal with the patient, it should be in a healthy way. Physical health is a secondary part. But the way you are with your patients in the clinic, you should be very healthy in that thing. So there is one more uh, thing this to like, I was giving you the example of this mobile phone. So there was an experiment which was done in 1988 by Rene Pioc. He was a scientist. So what he did was he took some newly hatched ducklings, ducks, children of ducks, newly hatched. They were just born. And he put all the ducklings, eight or nine ducklings in the cage. And then there was this robot which was controlled by a random number generator. Means basically it was uh, programmed in a way that in a big room it can go anywhere. So in the A you can see the path which the robot took when it was you know randomly uh, started. So it will go on whole of the room. It will keep wavering, uh, wandering in the whole room. So after that what he did was that he again started the robot, but with ducklings behind it. So he put the robot with the ducklings and ducklings basically started treating it as their mother. Because whenever the ducklings are born or chicks are born, young chicks, they 
the first contact with anything anyone which is moving they thought of them as their mother so when these newborn ducklings were placed with that uh, uh, robert they started their understanding was that this is the mother so then they started moving the robot again in the room and the ducklings will follow the robot the robot will still be going randomly it was still going randomly okay and the ducklings they started moving behind it so they did it for seven uh, i think five six seven days for some days they did it after that after one week or uh, 10 days they put a cage outside the room it was a glass room so they put the cage outside the room and they put all of the ducklings in the cage now this is very interesting here they put all of the ducklings in the cage outside the room and then they again started the robot so the second one is the path of the robot after the ducklings were put in the cage so the robot will only be on that side of the room where the cage will be placed then they put the cage in the other part of the room then the robot will start roaming in the other part of the room he for if you can see in this thing he didn't even went the path does not go there at all so first they thought that there might be something something wrong with the robot that something wrong with the randomization so they changed the code and they did it again and again they found the same result so for us the robot is basically just a matter just some binary number some zeros or ones but the consciousness of those chicks has affected on the consciousness of that matter because we basically call these things as non living things that they don't have any life to it it is a very poor understanding of us regarding the dynamics that they don't have life or they cannot be affected by these kind of things so uh, this experiment in itself basically shows that how the matter can also be affected by our dynamics dynamics of so called living things and it happens it happens always happens so now my next part how we can go from the idea of matter to the idea of dynamics very simple i have given you some examples the example of the phone the example of the funeral the example of the smile of the child and these things you can relate to all of us can relate to that these things happen just start being aware about these things whenever some kind of this thing happen stop for some time and think about this thing has something like this happened was i thinking or this thing idea or something like this that why i am smiling by looking at something how that thing without any material contact has affected me why when i look at someone my eyes they well up with the tears or i feel uh, sympathy inside or I, without even you know hearing any word without even something being said to me so then we will start understanding that everything is not matter and it will lead to us to a point if we start keeping this uh, thing in us that nothing is basically matter matter things which become now there was this uh, many kind of uh, experiments were done the electrons which are in the cell so usually we see the diagrams okay we have been shown a diagram that there is a nucleus uh, nucleus full of uh, pro, uh, this protons and the electrons are revolving like this okay in a in an atom the electrons are revolve we have been shown just diagrams we have not seen it in actual actually we have not seen it but we have been shown in diagram so our idea is that like there is a sun all the things are revolving around it so similarly in an atom 
there is a uh, this uh, nucleus and everything is basically electrons are revolving like that but actually it, it, it is not like this what happens is when uh, these scientists they started doing the experiments on the atom when they started seeing the electrons this saw a very unique phenomena electrons basically come and go come and go come and go this was a very strange phenomena that electrons are not always present but they are coming and going whenever a bond was taking place the electrons in both the atoms they will come and if they will be separated kept alone they will go this was a very strange phenomena they are coming and going they are not always present but when a bond was formed then they will be there so whenever an atom two atoms they start forming a bond then the electrons will become stable and then you can see it that yes both the atoms have electrons which are present there but when it is a single atom the electrons will come and go come and go so it basically baffled the scientist that coming or being present we can understand that okay it is there where does it go where does it go so they put a camera on it that you know uh, to understand observe so the camera basically recorded that electrons out of like in in an r if they can see electrons appear only twice then and when the scientists will see will look at it they will see that the electrons appeared many many more times like 100 times more in an hour when they will look at it <coughs> and when they will keep it near the same atom uh, same kind of atom it will become more permanent it will start getting more permanency so from there they got this idea that electron basically exists in two forms wave and matter it is not always matter it is forming from wave it comes to the uh, form of matter whenever it is required whenever it was required to form a bond it will come in the form of matter if it was not required it will be in a more in a form of wave wave is energy wave is frequency wave is dynamics you cannot see it but you can see its action it is always present the waves are always present around us so these kind of phenomena when when you see about it when you read about it okay this is more of a laboratory thing but then we see it in our lives happening this basically answers our biggest question biggest question in the medical uh, field from where do the diseases come the biggest question the origin of the diseases which was very simply answered by dr hanneman from dynamics affected in a dynamic way that wave which has a power to change the matter whenever it is demanded we live under the uh, law of demand and supply not the corporate world not the manufacturing world but a universal law of demand and supply it is said that even the poorest of the families poorest of the families can collect money or will have money if there is a funeral in the house because whenever there is a funeral you you have to do something which is necessary you have to either bury the body or like in india we in our we have to burn the body so the money will come from somewhere even if it was not present earlier the money will come because the demand was created a very strong demand was created these chicks these ducklings they created a strong demand of being closer to her mother to their mother the robert which changed the whole frequency of the robert so for us understanding of homeopathy and understanding of the disease and the patient 
we have to understand these phenomena first these are the laws basic laws basic principles the principle of dynamization that the things are basically affected dynamically i think this also answer the question which was asked today so next aphorism we will start with the aphorism aphorism 16 so after that <clears throat> aphorism that the organism is basically affected by the dynamics we come to the next part of our vital force as a spirit like dynamics cannot be attacked so now we have established this relation that whenever an organism becomes diseased aphorism 11 that whenever an organism becomes diseased it is this dynamic white the spirit like vital force which gets affected dynamically so whenever we become sick first the vital force becomes sick and then the organism will start becoming sick so now next understanding is our vital force as a spirit like dynamics cannot be attacked and affected so vital force cannot be attacked and affected by injurious influences on the healthy organism caused by the external inimical forces that disturb the harmonious play of life otherwise than in a spirit like dynamic way vital force cannot be affected cannot be affected by the injurious influences whatever influence is there for example there is a strong heat outside 50 people 100 people are going sun is there but all the 100 does not get affected by it they all do not get affected by it so this sun the cold the pollen the dust they do not have the power of affecting the health of the organism otherwise than in a spirit like way until and unless they act in a dynamic way on us how they act on us we will understand it in the following but if someone is affecting some us or the vital force because it is a dynamic thing so it can only be affected by dynamics some dynamics which was inimical some dynamic which was diseased force like we discussed in aphorism 11 which is inimical to life but that has to be in a dynamic way not in a material way and in the like manner and similarly in the like manner means similarly all such morbid derangements all the diseases cannot be removed from it from it means from the vital force by the physician in any other way than by the spirit like dynamic alternative powers of the serviceable medicines acting upon our spirit like vital force and because whatever is affecting the vital force it is dynamic in character so if you want to make the vital force healthy and the organism healthy it can only be made by those medicines which basically act on the organism in a dynamic way similia similibus currenter like cures like it has to be in the like manner similar way same so vital forces spirit like a dynamics can only be affected by a dynamics and can only be cured by a dynamics so the medicines which are more material can never reach that dynamic plane the main reason why these medicines the allopathic or other medicines which are more material they cannot cure the patient or the symptoms they can control if someone is suffering from diabetes the metformin can control the diabetes but can never cure it if someone is suffering from asthma so levosalbutamol it can just temporarily give relief to the tissue but not to that dynamics if there is some pain in the body the painkiller any kind of painkiller which we are giving it can just give it a temporary amelioration because it is acting on the matter 
disease is at the dynamics that is the dynamics so th when the medicine cannot affect the patient dynamically it cannot cure the disease that is the basic reason why we have not found any cures we have treatments we have managements in the practice of medicine we study more about the management okay so but in homeopathy we always think in the terms of cure the first thing which think that sometimes i wonder wonder about that how it would have come to dr hanneman that first aphorism that you know where he told the physician not to treat the patient not to comfort the patient not to manage the patient but to cure it cure the patient so for the whole philosophy starts with this thing that we have to cure we don't have to just manage but we have to cure this is a very big thing in our mind in our psyche you know even if we see psychologically if we start believing in this thing that we can cure the means of curing will all automatically start coming to us like i told you demand and supply so if the demand is of cure then the supply the material will be supplied to us which can help us to cure but if the uh, mentality or the psyche is like this that okay i have to just manage because this is not curable i am telling to every patient okay now this is a whole life thing we will manage it now this uh, diabetes is a whole life thing hypertension is a whole life thing skin disease is a whole life thing <clears throat> um one month back uh if you give me just 5 minutes i would like to show you a case it is not a very uh the case just started one month back but i i just want to show this case to you because there are some things which are attached with it and in one month you let me know that what you change what you, what kind of change you see in this patient this is a case of dmd and duchenne's muscular dystrophy small child i will tell you the story of this child first just let me uh, transfer this thing to my laptop i'll just stop the sharing for some time just give me 5 minutes uh, first let me tell you about this boy uh th they the parents they found around one and a half year back i think that the son is basically suffering from dmd so they went to a big all the big uh this hospitals and uh, this thing so they were told that he is basically suffering from this disease the dmd so the first uh, uh this video is of 10th feb this year 2024 10th feb and i think all of us know about dmd duchenne muscular dystrophy that it is basically a progressing disease where the muscles they start going into dystrophy in a very early age around 5 6 years of age and the children they start feeling first in legs and then it ascends and when uh, the doctor of a very 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 reputable uh, like uh, now i don't think in my mind uh, he is a very reputable man but yeah he has a name that is a very old doctor in a very big institute so the parents they basically asked because now when the parents they come to know about this thing that their son is having this problem and he will not be able to walk he will not able to sit so they get so worried because it is very difficult to see your own child like this even if we see someone child like this we you know um, our heart it just shrinks but seeing and thinking about the future of your own child it it becomes very difficult so they were you know like asking the doctor going to the doctor again and again that let us know if we can do something if you know we can give so they gave three steroid injections but after that the dystrophy it increased like earlier he used to feel more below the knees and then he started feeling more in the 
whole leg difficulty in climbing the stairs and difficulty in walking he will fall fall again so they again you know went to the doctor that uh, you know it is increasing and uh, he's not able to this thing so the doctor told them that uh, what can i do he has this disease so then the parents will ask that uh, how why he is having this disease why because every uh, person wants to know yeah, there is no understanding of it why it happens it just happens so there there must be something in research like because he was a doctor of a research institute it is a very big research institute of the government he said that any new drug is being prepared or this thing so he say that uh, you can just register for if there will be something which will come up we will call you so that any any idea when it will come up okay it it may come up after 5 years after 10 years after 15 years so we don't know when it will come up even if it it might come when the child will die he said like this so the patient parents are very shocked then die eh? because this disease is going to get progressive it is going to go up towards his heart and lung and once they become paralyzed then the child will die we cannot do anything about it so the parents their morale was you know literally broken when you know you say something to the parent rather than giving some consolation or rather than comforting the patient or the parents you you are saying this thing like this so it becomes very difficult so they came uh, because i want you all to know that with homeopathy what we can give to the patient and the parents because when this child will become better it is not only the child who is going to become better but the parents also the whole family will become better with one person getting better i think maybe that is why sometimes I, because you know the words which dr hanuman has written that like in the preface when we started dr hanuman said that if you go on this path in a righteous way as it is supposed to be you will get triple blessed blessed three times so maybe it is about that you know if you cure a patient the two other people who are living with that patient they also get better and you will be blessed in a triple manner in three times you will be blessed maybe i i so i'll just go so you all observe that what is the change in this child okay could i make it large so this was the first on 10th feb because i always see in dmd that they have this difficulty from getting up from the floors you see the time which he is taking to just get up from the floor because he is not having this strength in the um, uh, buttocks and in the thighs and he used to fall many times i will just show you again look at how his feet is going up how much time he is taking he has to put all the the balance which is not there he is waving and this thing now this is of uh, i think uh, yesterday yes yesterday almost 40 days i can say 40 or 50 days he enjoyed this thing as, as so much that he <laughs> he did it second time on his own so what is the difference which you can see in the child and the mother has told that now from the past 30 days in the he has not even fallen once 
not even once when he walks he have not even fallen once so the thing which have been affecting this child from past one and a half two years and which is told to be incurable i am not much uh, uh, acquainted with you know i sometimes i read these things but i am not much i will i am not much acquainted to the researches on these things if there are going any i am not acquainted with it but whatever i am acquainted with is this thing that if you have a mentality first thing like i was talking about that thing that dynamics the whole system is having this mentality wherever the patient are going wherever the parents are going they are saying that it cannot be done anything cannot be done it is an incurable case once this comes it will never go so very different mentality dr hanneman gave to the homeopaths or the physician he told the physicians to be general but to the homeopaths that the first thing is to cure completely different picture completely different thing and this this result i will when he will start become when he will be completely healthy i will present that case to you again but i have just shown the progress in 15 months by one single dose of remedy one single dose given on 10th of feb and this is the change this is the thing and this is done by homeopathy not by me this is done by homeopathy because homeopathy have the medicines which affect on the dynamic level which this aphorism is all about to give us an understanding that disease is coming from the dynamics acts the body organism in a dynamic way produces diseases in a dynamic way and can only be cured by those medicines which are dynamic in character which perceives them through the medium of the sentient faculty of the nerves everywhere present in the organism vital force perceives those remedies perceives understand those medicine understand the effect on the on itself of that medicine through the sentient faculty through the faculty of the nerves everywhere present in the organism so that it can only by their dynamic action on the vital force that remedies are able to re establish and do actually establish health and vital harmony so by this action on the vital force these remedies which are dynamic in nature can re establish the health and vital harmony after the changes in the health of the patient cognizable by our senses the totality of the symptoms have revealed the disease to the carefully observing and investigating physician as fully as was requisite in order to enable him to cure so through the totality of the symptoms the vital force showed us the whole disease whole disease it has showed to us have revealed the disease to the carefully and revealed to the to whom a physician who is carefully observing observing and investigating physician has to act as an investigator this is very important character which we have to imbibe inside us being investigating what happened how it happened how it affected what are the symptoms how they are getting aggravated ameliorated as fully as was requisite in order to enable him to cure and he investigated and observed as much as was possible as much as was revealed and this thing this investigation helped him to choose a remedy which was dynamic in nature which affected the vital force dynamically and he was able to cure the patient to health so aphorism 17 now 
as in the cure affected by the removal of the whole of the perceptible signs and symptoms of the disease the internal alteration of the vital force to which the disease is due consequently the whole of the disease is at the same time removed so when the cure is affected what happens is that it cures the whole vital force it cures all the perceptible signs and symptoms the totality of the disease which was there due to the internal problem of the vital force internal dynamic affection of the vital force and that is what we call the disease the whole of the disease so whenever those symptoms and the signs they are removed the whole disease is removed it follows that the physician has only to remove the whole of the symptoms in order at the same time to abrogate and annihilate the internal change that is to say the morbid derangement of the vital force so we as a physician in order to change in order to cure in order to annihilate the disease we have to just cure the derangement of the vital force and consequently the totality of the symptom the totality of the disease will just go away because the causation has been removed so consequently the totality of the disease and the disease itself but when the disease is annihilated the health is restored and this is the highest the sole aim of the physician so whenever the disease is what is health health is basically absence of disease health is never gone it is not if you have some signs and symptom that the health is completely gone no some parts are still healthy vital force is keeping keeping those parts healthy some parts have become diseased although man has become diseased but after that only few parts we will talk about it in aphorism 74 that few parts are basically diseased but still few parts are healthy health is just like a wat water uh below our land you know in earlier days we used to dug a well well for the water so water it is not that when you are removing that sand and the um, stones and all that part from the land then the water is being developed uh, inside the land the water was always there we just removed all those things which was not letting the water to come out which was not letting the water to be revealed to us we just have to remove that thing so similarly we just have to remove the disease health is always there and the health will come up it will be revealed to us so whenever the disease is an annihilated the health is restored and this is the highest the sole aim of the physician and this is the only aim sole aim only aim of the physician who knows the true object of his mission so a physician who will know the true object of his mission why i am been made i have i have been put on this earth and made a physician why so when we ask ourselves why so the answer is to cure the patients which consists not in learned sounding prating but in giving aid to the sick learned sounding prating that is what most of the doctors are doing there is an indian doctor who is not practicing from past 20 years not at all and he has written at least 7 to 8 books materia medica books without seeing the patients without getting that experience dr hanuman till his last breath he was seeing patients because that is the mission you can write the book you can divide the time it's okay writing a book is also very important writing book now there are two purposes of writing a book there are two purposes one the first purpose the one purpose which why most of the people write books are to gain popularity to become someone who has written a book to get a name now this is more of a 
uh, I would say the thing which I don't believe in or the thing which is false. Then there is people who write books because they find something which should be shared so that it can help someone. Organon, why it was written, chronic disease, why it was written. Every time in the preface of all the books Dr. Hanuman has written, he says that I am presenting this to you humbly. You read this, you understand this, you try, try to apply it. At least try. Don't just read it and you don't understand, you keep it away. Try to apply this thing so that the suffering humanity can get some relief. So when that is why when we started the organ and I told you to get along with the emotion why it was written. To give relief to the sucker, uh, suffering humanity. Not to be seen as someone who is very knowledgeable. Not to be uh, seen as someone who is learned. But what is the last thing, uh, sorry, the only thing which we have to do is to cure the sick. That is the thing. After that you do something is okay. But if you are just removing your uh, you are stopping the first thing which you are doing which you are meant to do as a physician, then whatever you do after that, it does not have any importance to it. So aphorism, so there's a first footnote to aphorism 17. So to explain this thing, uh, he is again uh, telling you about the dynamics. A warning dream, a superstitious fancy or a solemn prediction. I will give you also an example of this uh, in a patient, which I have seen. A warning dream, there was a dream with a warning some super superstition or someone predicted someone's death, a solemn prediction that death would occur at a certain day or at a certain hour has not unfrequently. So whenever Dr. Hanuman uses not unfrequently means frequently. <laughs> okay, so he had this thing about the words. Has not unfrequently produced all the signs of commencing and increasing disease. So we have seen that very frequently we have seen this thing. That if there is some kind of warning dream, there is some warning dream, something is going to happen or some superstition is there or some prediction that, you know, like I was telling you about the case. So I, uh, the, I came, patient came to me with the renal failure, failure of kidneys. His creatinine was around 7 and urea was around 150, 160. So he came to me and he said that, uh, doctor, can you do anything about this? And he was very calm. I said, yes, I can do. Uh, we can do in homeopathy. So it was, I think, the month of September or October, I think. So he said that, but you have on, only four months. I said, why four months? He said, because uh, in January, I am going to die. I was very shocked at January, you are going to die. How do you know this? He said that because uh, someone has told me. There was some like sage who told me. I said, how, how, how this thing happened? He said that I was sitting in my garden outside the house. So a sage, you know, in India, there are so many sages and saints and this thing was passing by. So he said to me that, uh, can I have a glass of water? So he went inside. I said, sure, I will bring it. He went inside. And when he came out, the sage was standing inside the house. Said, okay, it's okay. He gave the water. After drinking water, the sage, sage said to the this patient that I can smell death in this house. So he was very, you know, taken away that everything is fine and everything is good i am in very good health and my children are good my wife is good my mother father are good my business is good so why are you are saying this he said i can smell your death and he was shocked he said that 
this happened you know they after one year after one or two years you know in the this january of 2015 or 16 whatever it was you will die so he said the doctor he said this thing and then he disappeared he went away so he said that i didn't took it after that i didn't took it more seriously i started going to make going on with the routine but after 3 or 4 months i started seeing symptoms of swelling in my body dyspnea and we went to the doctor and they got this test and they found that my kidney is failing so then i recalled that thing which he said and uh, then so he was very convinced that by january he will be dying so he told me that you know uh, that you have just 4 months that after 4 months you will not get any chance so these thing time uh, these kind of things produced all the signs of commencing and increasing disease of approaching death and death itself at the r announced so when that thing basically takes hold of us gets enrooted in us our biological clocks are timed like that which could not happen without the simultaneous production of the inward change so that dynamics which came it affected the patient dynamically but it started producing tissue changes changes in the kidney started producing an inward change corresponding to the state observed externally so whatever the state we are observing externally same state is basically produced inside us and hence in such cases all the morbid signs indicative of approaching death have frequently been dissipated by an identical cause again similia similibus currenter if there is a sadness in a person it cannot be cured by happiness cannot cure it by happiness now if a person is sad you if you show him some comedy movie you joke around him he will not get happy but if something more sad is told to a person or is shown to a person that can change the thinking of the patient similar identical cause so these things have also been frequently dissipated dissipated means cured or dissolved or uh, sent away by an identical cause by some cunning deception or persuasion if you do something you persuade something you console someone you try to bring something logical in front of them or you produce an identical cause but in a positive manner to the belief in the contrary and health suddenly is restored health is suddenly restored so again telling you that these things how how these things basically affect us in a dynamic way by means of this moral remedy now this is not a uh, matter remedy or some dynamic remedy but a moral remedy which affects on the dynamics of the internal and external morbid change that threatened death so these things were dynamic in nature which produces the disease which threatened the death and a similar dynamic thing was given to them identical thing was given to them in the means of moral remedy which basically cured the patient and established the health so second footnote it is only thus that the god the preserver of mankind could reveal his wisdom and goodness in reference to the cure of the disease to which man is liable here below by showing to the physician what he had to remove in diseases in order to annihilate them and thus re establish health so the god 
he is the creator of the mankind he is creator of everything whatever you name you give it is okay but there is some force which is creating which is preserving us like we have uh, studied about the vital force also the same part of the bigger force how it preserves our body and when it goes away the body starts de deteriorating so he is the preserver of the mankind could reveal his wisdom and goodness how he revealed his wisdom his intelligence and his goodness how he revealed it is in reference to the cure of the diseases to which man is liable here below in reference in form of the cure how he showed his wisdom and goodness in the form of cure is by showing to the physician what he had to remove in disease he shows through this whole phenomena of the symptoms see how uh, uh, dr hanuman is basically presenting this thing that the goodness of the wisdom of that higher force we can see that goodness in this thing that he is showing to us showing to the physician what he has to remove in the disease very simply in the form of signs and symptoms he is showing to the physician that okay you have to save this man you have to preserve his health and i am showing to you what you have to cure i am showing this to you very simply very simple process and whenever there will be some disease it will be shown the god by his wisdom and goodness has made a process that the whole disease will be shown to the intelligent observing physician in the form of symptoms and signs so that he is able to cure it in order to annihilate them and thus re establish health for example if there is something like a mouse in the house and it is hiding somewhere and you are not able to see how you can remove it but if it is in front of us if some miracle puts it in front of you then you will be very easily to you know catch it and throw it out so similarly whatever is there inside happening it is basically revealed to us to the physicians in the form of sign and symptom in a very simple process and told us by that higher power that you have to cure this but what would we think of his wisdom and goodness what now if you go to the other part of what the huffland said if you go to that part that what will we think of his wisdom and goodness if he had shrouded in mysterious obscurity that which was to be cured in diseases if he would have you know shrouded shrouded means uh, wrapped in something something wrapped in something and put into the obscurity hidden away if he had hided the disease somewhere inside the body which is deteriorating the body and we are not able to see the signs and symptoms or something if he had shrouded in mysterious obscurity that which was to be cured in diseases as is asserted by the dominant school of medicine which affects to possess a supernatural insight into the inner nature of things so the dominant school of the medicine the old school the uh, which dr hanuman is referring to is that 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 is their supernatural insight that something is hidden inside sign and symptoms are gone but disease is still there hidden inside so he said that what would we have think of his wisdom and goodness if he had actually done this and shut it up in the hidden interior and thus rendered it impossible for man to know the malady accurately consequently impossible for him to cure it so he is basically putting a counter argument to that thing that in his wisdom and in his goodness he has already shown us what is it to be cured don't start looking we cannot look inside where 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 will you look that is why something anything which is out of shape out of thing we we start calling it disease because we don't understand the disease we don't understand it so now uh, because this is the right time to answer that question 
I will first uh, read the question. So there is one question about symptoms as indicators for deranged vital force. The question is nowadays we heard about sudden deaths of many healthy, young and not young people, even the people who are, are like sportmen, sportsmen. Why this happens? From information heard, it seems they did not get sick before sudden death. Idea of subclinical, that is, no symptoms was mentioned from conventional medicine. So first, uh, who, whoever has asked the uh, doctor, out of the doctor, whoever has asked this question, it is a good question. I hope I have answered it. Half answer I have already given when I have talked about that. I will try to complete it. Sudden deaths, yes, they happen. They happen. But was it sudden? Was it really sudden? Was the person healthy as he was just, you know, the, or we were just thinking about of him being healthy from his parameters or from his exercise or from his this kind of routine. If you say the person who is into sports is healthy, no, he's not healthy. I would never say that he's healthy. What is health? Many sports players, they have these cramps, they have these pains, a lot of nervous issues, maybe because of the injuries, maybe because of the oh, exertion which they put in. But they will keep on going because their mindset is made like this, that you have to keep going, you have to be competitive. First of all, a sports person is competitive. Now we have talked on that day that if you are enjoying success, you're really enjoying success, you will be completely depressed, discouraged in your failures. It is going to happen. It is going to happen. Health in all the extent. Signs and symptoms. So I will go on two, three topics at this thing. A child, mother has come to a physician doctor. The child, he basically uh, is sometimes he shouts in his sleep. He will cling because I had gotten some children like this and they have gone to some first to some allopathic doctor or some psychologist. And what they have told, I will tell you. That my child is, uh, you know, he is. So the doctor will ask, oh, do you see some ghost movies? Hmm? Stop his ghost movies. He will be okay. The child was not okay after that. Then they again went that he is not getting better. Okay, now he is not getting better. Okay, you do one thing. Don't give him milk in the night. What is the milk has to do with, uh, you know, that child getting scared? So when that thing also not helped, then they came to me or. So the doc, they said the doctor is saying that nothing wrong is with him. It is just that children are like that. If something is happening commonly, it does not mean it is healthy. Yes, I say that children are usually afraid. Of some things. But. If it is happening commonly, that is that does not mean that it is health. Dr. Boeing Hassan writes a very beautiful line about this in his uh, a chapter of lesser writings that a homeopath, a physician, when he is a right physician, he is a right homeopath, he will start looking for those symptoms which the contemporary system does not consider as symptoms. They do not consider it as disease and he will stop. He will cure the patient at that point so that it does not change into some kind of organic disease. Organic disease will come later on in the life. 
first you will see the things affecting the patient as a whole the generals are going uh, if the child is not eating food that is oh, okay, okay no problem no problem you just uh, give him this tonic some appetizer and uh, it happens with all the children it does not matter there was a lady who, she went to a doctor and she told the doctor that my child is eating a, a lot he said okay then give him less that 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 was the answer which the doctor gave that don't give him much food he will not eat much so how we are approaching the patient so these sports people even the person who seem to be healthy physically does not mean they are healthy many times these sports people what they do when they are having injury they use palliations very strong palliation so that they go and compete i have seen in gym the people who go to gym they use vicks or iodex i don't know if you have these things they are like the balm to you know numb the pain which is there in the muscles sometimes when i go to the gym there is so much smell of that iodex and vicks everyone is rubbing it on the what are we doing we are palliating it and we are palliating it suppressing it it will go somewhere you have applied the iodex and you are suddenly going on a treadmill and you suddenly faint you had a... we cannot say that he didn't had anything he had he had that thing and this is a very i tell everyone who goes to gym don't use these things they are very dangerous if the pain is coming let it come the pain is going to make your muscle strong rest is important not applying iodex or this thing and i think very very uh, in near future study is going to come i don't know if it will be published uh, publicly told or not because of the pharmaceutical company that these things which the uh, sports people the gym people they are using they are very dangerous very very dangerous and not only you i i have seen so many patients and after the corona this has increased now so maybe somewhere the vaccination can be an issue also but i don't know but yes these things so i have answered this thing that the symptoms part now i will go a little further so why it is not affecting anyone everyone if you have different kind of materials for example i am now having this stone table under my laptop it is difficult for me to break this thing even with a hammer even with a strong hammer it will be very difficult for me to break this but if i had a glass table with the first stroke of hammer it will break down when you are already weak inside the vitality is weak you are on that brink the sora latent sora and activated sora we will study about it if the the latency of the sora is very big it will not break easily but if it is just on the brink of erupting a slightest of the cause can create a break in that thing so it is very important to see the patient as a whole then only you can understand whether he was healthy or not a competitive person is never healthy i told you yes if someone would play the game just to enjoy the game for himself he is not playing for the team he is not playing for the country he is not he is just playing for himself he enjoys it there is an artist who is basically acting there is a singer who is just singing just for himself everyone will enjoy that thing but he is mainly doing for his happiness that is a more of a healthy thing many times the people they start going into trends what kind of trend is going on we will also do that thing and this is a very this is also a disease state there are so many states which are diseased 
the fashion is a diseased state you see someone okay now okay they are wearing these kind of things i will also wear this kind of things but still they are at very smaller level but it is not that they don't affect us they affect us when it keeps going on and on and on it will start forming in the matter it will be it will start showing itself in some tissue in some cell in some organ so first we have to understand what is health so that we can see that okay this person is not healthy for first we have to look at ourselves that is why i always say that if you want to understand the psyche study yourself that is the only way you can understand the mind or psychology okay so i think we will stop here uh, our today's class we have done only three aphorisms today but i think these are the more important ones more important means uh, not more important than the other aphorism but they had their own importance and i really wanted because you to i wanted to tell you about the dynamics part because it is very important for a homeopath to start understanding this thing that how the disease basically रिशा आवाज आ रही मेरी हां जी सर अच्छा मेरे यहां पे वो हैंग हो गया सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ दिस थिंग बेसिकली इज हैपनिंग बिकॉज़ द मोर वी अंडरस्टैंड द मोर वी विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द रेमेडीज द सिम्टोमेटोलॉजी एंड इट विल बी मोर इजी फॉर अस टू अंडरस्टैंड द फिनोमेना like next time i will talk about the totality of symptoms also that what kind of understanding it gives us in the patient why it is important to take the totality so with that i will take your leave and uh, i hope you are going through the aphorisms in the rest part of the week because the more you will read about it the more those words will go into it and will start changing the process so with that i thank you all for patiently listening to me and uh, i like when people are interested in the basic thing of homeopathy because materia medica more people are interested philosophy less people are interested but they don't understand that the philosophy is the platform on which the materia medica can be created the understanding of materia medica can be created you cannot cram you cannot memorize the materia medica it has to be understood and the understanding is given by organon the first 70 aphorisms are basically theory after that the practical part starts so the first 70 aphorisms are of philosophy and they are very important why because they contain all the principles of homeopathy what changes a homeopath a physician has to bring in himself in his understanding so that he can or she can understand the materia medica and homeopathy and apply it to cure the disease or cure the sickness patients okay i will try to show more cases because i know uh, the cases inspire us uh, these kind of results when they come they inspire even i get inspired <laughs> in a different way but when we see these cases so but don't i will i very rarely tell the remedies until and unless i explain the case like i told you the case today but i didn't told you the remedy because again that matter part kicks in that this remedy is for the dmd there is no remedy for dmd and every remedy can cure dmd the symptoms have to match okay so with that i will take your leave thank you thank you all thank you so